What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. You know, people make a lot of money on social media. And a lot of times people, you know, back when I first started, you know, people tell you, go get a real job. Get off YouTube. And I'm sitting here on YouTube making more than their ass at their real job. And there is sort of a um, an idea that, you know, when you work in social media, you don't have um, much to do. You can just click on a button and the money comes in easy. That's not the case. Social media content work is real work, especially if you're not doing something like AdSense. Like, let's say, for example, you're doing something like OnlyFans. OnlyFans is a straight up sales site. If you don't get nobody to buy your shit, you don't eat. Okay. So they don't have like no only fan sense, like ad sense, you know, that don't know. You got to, to, to pull it off. Okay. Now I'm saying this because there was a lady who was going through some brain surgery and she needed to make some money. Okay. And you know, her name is Ruby May. Now she looking a little thick here for um, Caucasian girl, but uh, you know, she, she had to get this booty clapping, booty clapping sounds. And while she's under brain surgery, she still took nude photos Bruh. on her account. Okay. Literally her ass is in the bed undergoing brain surgery. Somehow she figured out that she have to get that ass on OnlyFans. Okay. Now she had a uh, Chiari malformation that happens when the skull puts tension on the spinal column. And if she didn't get the procedure done, it, she could be paralyzed, but the surgery was $14,722. And despite being in pain, she pulled it off. All right. But now let me, let me talk about this. Cause shout outs to her for being a hustler. I'm never going to, um, hate on the hustle. But I think that what we need to talk about, if we will, is some of the states that ladies are in because they don't have help. Now, I don't know why <clears throat> you don't have insurance, baby, because you're in Australia. So I'm pretty sure there's um, you know, somewhat of a socialist hospital thing. But you know what? A lot of ladies, despite being attractive or being cute, you know, I think as guys, we feel that women just have a ATM with their coochie. You know, they, oh, you know, you're a woman, so you can just get everything for free. Really? It's not the case. All right. There, there are a lot of broke, good looking women out here. For many reasons. Can't manage money, don't plan. You know, women are a little bit more... Uh, at least on average, a little bit more emotional in their thinking than men are. Okay. That's been kind of documented. Women may not be the best people to plan for things because women, it's expensive being a woman. You know, women have to have a lot of things. They got to have hair, nails, you know, period products and things like that. And they're, they shop a lot. So, you know, things that come for saving for a rainy day, might be something more because men, we, 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 I think that we, it's harder for us to get our money. You know, we don't get help. Like, you know, nobody was going to give you any money because you're a good looking man. Some guys get it. Most guys don't. The average woman can get a free meal. The average guy is trying to pay for a goddamn meal. All right. And what society is showing us all across the world, even with Russia, you know, their models were begging for money and they couldn't work only fans is that you don't have a lot of women that are being taken care of by, by men, even women who are conventionally in their own societies attractive. The question is, why is that? Why is that? What is it about women? We got to talk about this. That leaves them in many cases 
unable to attract men in the middle of the class. It can either be one or two things. They don't want those guys. That could be number one. Or they just can't get them. They can't get them. So why can't they get them go? Why are you so like you're desperate? Like you're in surgery. You ain't got no family boo to come and say, hey, we know we, we to take some rest. boo. You don't have to put your ass. OK, on only fans today. But according to her, that's the only that's going to pay her. Why is that? Do we want to talk about that? And the answer is we don't. We don't want to talk about that, do we? No, we don't. And this is becoming more common. More women are are going towards sites like OnlyFans. Okay? During tough economies. I don't understand why she doesn't have insurance, but it could be this. Why is it the OnlyFans? Why don't you have a husband? Why don't you have family support? It's a lot of things going on. And I'm, I'm thinking about myself, like, what did you do to your family that they don't like you so much? And again, we got to get back to the drawing board that, and a lot of ladies don't understand this. And people might, might look at this story and be like, oh, well, shit. Well, she had $14,000 on OnlyFans. She paid all her bills. I can do it too. If you're an exception on the top 1% or 2% on OnlyFans, yeah, you can. You also can do exceptional things if you're the one of the top 2% of YouTubers or Instagrammers, okay? Or in the top 10% in the NBA. But everybody can't do that. Some people need help. Some people need family. Some people need friends. Some people need friends in the business. And not only some, all, all of us. There's nobody bigger than that. Everybody needs it. Okay. Otherwise, you know, because if I had a daughter, God forbid, you, you know, you, 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 you have no money for me to take care of you because you're so busy uh, poking your ass out on OnlyFans and a goddamn surgery table. Like God forbid, right? Imagine, you know, you got to post nudes on the goddamn surgery, and it's a shame. I'm not hating, but that's sad. Okay. Why don't you have people who like you enough that you don't have to do that? And expect, listen to what I'm saying, expect to see more of it, not less, more. It's going to get what you would call worst, worst, not better, worse. The economy's rising. Um, as far as inflation is concerned, skilled labor is becoming inherently more important. Some people are going to be left out. And unfortunately, that could be vulnerable populations of women and children. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.